Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here against the St. Clair Saints Green against St. Edwards University, and they are looking to put on a devastating show for us. St. Clair Saints Green down in the lowest bracket, losers around eight. And once again, this team is capable of a lot of things. They want to live up to those expectations and make their way back, play through the finals, and win it all. But they'll have to go through one match at a time. Isn't that right, Matthias? That is absolutely correct. And it looks like it's going to be St. Edwards University this time being the opponent, which I think the Saints have a good chance at beating. They're locked in, they're down, but they're not out. Well, putting a shot on the goal. Thopso getting a nice save. Dino for a little bit of disruption there. The ball's up in the air. And the game's up in the air. It's anybody's game, and it looked like it might be Dino's as he gets the first goal. Completely open net, something you don't see a lot, especially from the Saints green team, but they found the perfect opportunity, caught the Saints off guard, and went for that shot. You saw the rest of the Saints trying to get to the net there but it was a really unexpected shot. Didn't have enough time to get back. Not enough time to get back, and I just realized this is the best two out of three series. This one's gonna be going very quick. Zai has to try and even the score line up. It's not gonna quite work out, and now well, 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 he's gonna go for a shot right there. It didn't go so well, and now Zai gonna try and disrupt this ball back to the center, get it back in the green team's control. Dodging out, everyone goes up. Well is going to be the one sending it right back. Could not find it in the air. The 50 goes the way of Zai. And now he's going to go for a goal once again. Try and get a setup. Five so disrupted by Dino. Yeah, Jazzy now trying to get that 50. Not going to win it out. It's going to go center. And that's going to be a perfect shot coming up from Well. Fabzo thankfully in position to get the save. Taking it up to the wall. A little bit of a collision going on with his teammates there. It's Zai taking this to the other side of the map. Now, well, it's going to... Oh, actually, a really good ball wow. from Jazzy, but a last-second save coming up from Dino as the ball hit the ground, almost going to the net. That was a perfect sweep away. It was like curling, but the opposite. He just kind of swept that away and really laid the traction to get it off the course <laughs> into the net. Really well done, Sai. Trying to capitalize off of this Jazzy as well. Suck in this pocket, but not able to fight his way through. Taking the least down well. Sai getting in front. Fabzo with a huge down from behind. This could be the opportunity the Saints were looking for as St. Edwards University trying to find the boost, but they're already back. They've respawned, they've gotten the boost, and now two minutes into this game, or two minutes left in this game, St. Edwards University leading with one against St. Green. This is an unfamiliar circumstance this team is dealing with. Let's see if they can figure out how to come out on top. Let's see if they can do it as well. Well, it's going to be doing some crazy stuff. Dino getting a demo, setting the ball up near that net. They're surrounding it, eyeing it like a hawk, waiting for the perfect time to strike. But the Saints find their moment to strike as they go for the net. Dino on the defense time after time, getting save after save. All three of them there trying to contest that ball. The Saints need to find something. need to find something quick as there's only a minute 30 left in the match. Well, putting it down in that pocket, going to try and clear that one out, but no, Dino's gonna throw it in further, get a nice setup, and it might be a goal, just barely bounces off the crossbar and out of the net. Huge save coming up from the same side, taking Dino out as revenge from that shot. Jazzy trying to get this one into the air, succeeds in that, but maybe not the outcome he desired as well, tries carrying to the ground, but a nice bump from the Saints is going to prevent him from setting up the shot even further. Drew now taking this one to the ground, not gonna have it go his way as well, bounces this one off over the top, and that's gonna be a nice shot coming out from Drew as it slowly fell down towards the center. It's going to get lined up and executed. One minute left in this game. Can the green team take two goals to tie things up, or are they going to be going down facing potential elimination? One minute left on the clock. Two goals to score to tie everything up. It's a near insurmountable task for the Saints, but if there's anyone to do it, they just might be able to. They have control of the ball. If they need to do it, they need to do it now. Well, going to be disruptive of St. Edwards now can just play the time game, play defensively. It'll be able to not save it out as Fabso scores a goal. That was really impressive. You even got caught tripping, like tripped up there because I even thought that was going to be a save. But no, this is really one of those cases where the ball is just going too fast. There's nothing really other than that preventing that one from being saved. But the ball is just going too fast. And they just weren't able to match the speed to get the save. Dino now 
playing defense, recognizing that the Saints are not to be underestimated jazzing the demo. They're playing a lot more aggressively than I usually see them doing in terms of the demolitions. And now it's in the orange pocket as Sai carries this one to the ground. It's gonna get tapped away from him. And now St. Edward's University in full stall mode, just disrupting every possible movement play the Saints are trying to make just to give them more time and take down the time that the Saints have to get one more goal to tie the series. Jazzy with a beautiful save, really keeping them even in this game, giving them a chance still with one second left. It's not impossible for the Saints to get this one, but it is now as the ball hits the ground, St. Edwards University taking this one out. Good game from St. Edwards University. The Saints really gave it their all there at the end, able to get one goal. We'll see if they're able to adapt in time for this next game. You know, they don't have too many games. That's it. That's the game they could lose. This is it. It's do or die from here on out for the Saints. You know, usually we see a best of five series here in Rocket League most of the time. But now, with best of three, things are just moving super quick. Mm -hmm. Best of three. This is where dreams are made, and this is also where dreams die. Can Green Team figure it out in this, these five minutes if they can get themselves back into working order? They know they are capable of more than this, and St. Everson University playing exceptionally well as well. We don't want to diminish that at all. This team is doing wonders against the Saints right now. And Sai, Fabzo, and Jazzy trying their best to make something happen here. And it almost does. Fabzo just not able to get the momentum he needed from that ball. And another rebound shot. But look at the side of St. Edward's University. They were all zero for a second there. It's costing them so much. And if they were just a little bit more uh, conservative with their boost, they might not have survived that onslaught. Yeah, that was a very risky play, but St. Edwards is still squeaking by, but the Saints are still in control of the ball, keeping up the offensive pressure. Fabso not letting that go down lightly, but now the clear might come through here, might go over to Orange side, just barely does. They need to win the 50. It's Drool finding an open net, maybe even an open goal as he does carry it across uh -oh. the field. Beautiful air carry with an assist from Well. And it's a job well done. <laughs> you love saying well a lot, and I can't really blame you. <laughs> Everyone's just playing well in this game, exceptionally well as well. Um, well, so, well, well, well. Well, well, well. What do we well, have well, here? Well, 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 we have is a situation where one minute for this game, St. Edward's University, they have one on the board, Saints with a nice fat zero, and they have to do their best to get at least one. They didn't find a single point in that last game until the last 30 seconds around. Can they get that a little bit earlier? Because things are a lot easier to do when you have three minutes than when you have 30 seconds. And honestly, that might be what they need. Maybe they need that pressure, but that reminder that it's do or die. But I feel like this, if anything, would be that reminder. They are in their potential game elimination situation. And with the perfect center play, unfortunately, that ball is not gonna find the net. Drew was there to put that one to rest. Drew doing all that he can do. Dino gonna get a demo. Well, gonna carry it above and above the Saints. Jazzy gonna try and keep this ball in the middle or at least get it over to the blue side. He finds the opening, going for a beautiful air carry, but that's gonna be Well once again, stopping that out. Zai keeping up the offensive pressure, trying to go for the setup with Jazzy. Goes towards the net, but barely off the mark. Well's gonna go for the clear. Jazzy wins the 50, and now the pressure's all on St. Edwards. They need to get the clear, and they need to get it now. It's back up in the air. It's along the wall, Zai going for an air carry once again. The Saints need to get a goal and they need to get one soon. They're putting up so much pressure. One is bound to make it through at this point. Jazzy in the blue pocket. Fabzo sending it towards him. Sai almost getting that nice shot. Maybe it was a fake, maybe it wasn't, but it's going to allow them to get a double demo. And another shot coming up from Jazzy with Sai going for one more off the crossbar. Unfortunately, that could have been what they needed. And another shot coming out once again. Fabzo wasn't done yet, but Dino wasn't either. Perfect saves, perfect, just unfortunate, whatever the opposite of a clutch would be. And they just weren't able to get that one in. They fought so hard and they couldn't even get the drop of blood. Yeah, it's just so unfortunate. We're over halfway through this match. It's 1-0. It's not unwinnable for the Saints if they keep up the pressure like they have been. Maybe luck will finally go their way and that ball will bounce in to the net instead of out. Zai looking to go for a setup. Dino on the defense not able to keep up with this ball. But it's going to be Drew going for the clear. Now the offensive pressure is on the side of the Saints. They have to go back on the defense. Well going to go back over to the other side. Zai carrying 
carrying it up in the air. It goes over their heads. Another clear from Drew. It's an absolute ping pong match right now. It's just getting passed back and forth. But St. Edwards is clearly in control here. They have such a stalwart defense that the Saints cannot break through. Sai once again going for off the top of the bar air carry. It seems like St. Edwards is waking up to that fact. And now... They're making a blitz their own, trying to cement an even bigger goal. The Dino goes for a pass, gets saved out by Zai. Absolutely crazy gameplay all around from St. Edwards. Zai now trying to do the hero play, taking this one from Orange all the way to Blue. Jazzy here to assist, giving the sword to the hero of legend. Can he plunge into the heart of the dragon? No, there is a stab-proof vest over his heart for some reason, and a huge defender waiting to catch the sword as was one last one minute now a nice fake shot another one coming for the Saints really well done to really fake out St. Edwards University but it's gonna end up going back to Orange another shot coming up Fabzo in the perfect spot to get the save Sai trying to get this lined up for his teammate Fabzo as well carrying this one over towards the front of the net Sai is gonna get hit is it nice collision these teams are fighting for the ball so hard right now 30 seconds on the clock and St. Edwards is doing such a good job of wasting the Saints time 30 seconds remaining the Saints have not found a single shot yet game and it's so unfortunate they are so close they just need to find one more they're able to do in the last game can they get this before time runs out can they do it there's 15 seconds remaining on the clock saints making a last minute blitz jazzy going for a beautiful air carry wells gonna block it out but they're not gonna let that go unpunished they're gonna keep sending shots oh at God. this eight nine seven time wow. is kicking beautiful defense from saint edwards is up in the air they're gonna go make an offense of their own that's wide open and it's good and they secure one more goal on the saints securing their win with only only one second remaining on the clock. That was incredible from Sanders University. You saw him just drop down from the top of the net to catch Insane. that one from going in. And with the last second of the game, they were able to even find a goal. St. Edwards University, if you didn't know already, this is a team to beat, or this is definitely a team to watch out for as well. Uh, beating out the Saints green in such a fashion, you can never discount anybody you're seeing. And with the St. Clair Saints gold doing well in their own game at the very least, that's the green runs over, but gold, they're having uh, a nice run for themselves right now. You gotta hand it to gold. They're the golden boys here. You know, Wichita State not having a great run. I mean, if you look at that scoreline, 5-0, and oh, this is looking like a secured win for gold at this point. If I had to be a betting man, I would bet all my money on gold. I, I would, too. You can never go wrong with gold. It's, it holds its value. It's as good as gold, as they say. And with a nice whole two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this matchup, I can't imagine the Saints are going to have much challenge for themselves right now. Well, they might have challenge going into the next series Absolutely. as they might be playing up against St. Edwards University, yeah, and which would they, be one heck of an opponent to play. That would be incredible to witness. You know, hopefully, maybe gold, they have what it takes to, you know, figure out what the green team couldn't come out on top in this next game. But if there's one thing for sure, they figured out this game and they uh, look to be even having some fun with it. They're, they're just practicing their shots, getting collisions, bumping demos, and maybe they're just keeping themselves warm for the next one. But Wichita State University, if they made it this far in the tournament, I'm sure they are a fantastic team. And this just goes to show how well the Saints gold team is playing if they're having this much confidence in this game too. Um, which again, if they win this one, they're on to the next matchup and their next opponents will be even more formidable. Exactly. This is the tournament of champions at this point. Sure, we're in the loser's bracket, but that is where all the magic happens. This is where all the excitement is. This is where it's do or die. You have no more games left to lose. All you can do is win. And win the gold team is as there's still yeah. a minute 40 left on the clock but this is why some rocket league tournaments have a mercy rule when you yeah. win this hard when you're six points up nothing bad to say about wichita state university but the gold team is just in a class of their own at this point yeah absolutely and uh realistically there's not much that can happen here even if they got a goal once every 10 seconds would still be <laughs> quite remiss for them to win this series. But still, the Saints gold, again, if they're doing this well against a team of this caliber, they must be on a fire so far today. And I wouldn't put it past them. You know, this team, they've had a lot of ups and downs this season. The season's just starting. You know, this team's already 
feels like they've been through hell and back and found heaven and fell down from heaven and went back to hell. And this team, again, took a break on earth for a while, had a cup of coffee, (laughs) chilled out for a little bit, you know, (laughs) went to Argentina, saw the sights and uh, had a great time. But right now they are in purgatory and they just need to fight their way through and the seventh circle of Dante's Inferno and just reach the next dimension. Yeah, they're just at the battlegrounds right now. They're just having a uh, absolutely amazing time. 30 seconds left on the clock. And oh my gosh, this wow. is the turnaround for Wichita State University. They it's might be able to take this one back if they get a goal every half a second from here on out. Yeah, that would that would be really cool to see <laughs> from Wichita State University. The Saints gold squad, they need to be careful. They found they one so you far. Can't, you can't discount it. In Rocket League... Things go by really fast. They could. Listen, as much as we joke, if they did start, um, as some people say, throwing, uh, they could get very close. They could even tie this up. So St. Clair Saints Gold cannot let this one go. They have to keep playing. They have to keep their eye on sure. the ball, little, literally and metaphorically. Okay, now they don't. And now, if they get one more, they should be good. There's a few seconds left on the clock. It's nearly impossible. Wish it a state fighting the good fight. That's going to be the gold team getting the gold and advancing forward. Yeah, and advancing forward means, like I said before, an even more favorable opponent. Once again, Wichita State University, they've made it this far in the tournament. They are definitionally one of the strongest Rocket League teams to be facing off against if they made it this far. But next up for them is going to be Northeastern Varsity for our gold team. And uh, we're going to have to wait and see what that's going to be looking like for our gold squad. Yeah, and keep your eyes pointed to that compass northeast because that's where the Saints are headed next. But before we do that, we're going to be throwing it over to a very quick break. We'll be back with more CRL action.